feel after the game as you try to head to bed. Dr. Anish Sheff of Princeton Medical Group here to talk about heartburn or could be something worse. How Thanks, are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. And actually, you know, for many people, tomorrow is actually Super Burn Sunday. <laughs> I agree. So uh, we tend to overeat, we tend to overdrink, we pay the price a little bit later on. So we're here today to talk about some tips so you can enjoy the big game without heartburn. So okay. let's go through those one by one. So number one, eat in moderation. It's a huge spread at the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Pick the things you like, small portions, eat slowly. Okay. Number two. That's my problem. I'm a, fa I'm a fast Me too. Eater. I like chopping well, down. Well, yeah, especially when there's so much good food out mm -hmm. there. Number two, alcohol in moderation. Gotcha. So a drink or two, maybe cut it off, switch to water after that. That's going to help you later on. And then my weakness, which is a lot of people's weakness, is hot sauce. My favorite condiment, we have chili. We put hot sauce on it. Hot sizzle. We have hot wings. We add more, more hot, hot sauce. sauce. So that only not only causes heartburn during the game, but you're going to pay for that later on that night. Now, the most important tip, number four, do your heavy eating and drinking before halftime. Okay. We like to keep three hours between when you eat last and when you go to bed. Okay. And that, you know, we tend to eat later and drink later. At Super Bowl, you know, it doesn't end until like 10, 11 o'clock at night. Right. So halftime should be your cutoff point. Switch to, from alcohol to water. Cut back on the spicy foods, and you should have a good night's rest so later on that night. So when you see Lady Gaga, yeah. cut it off. That's it. <laughs> All right. Well, let, let me ask you this: Is yeah. there anything we could do, like a, a you know, a preemptive measure? Like uh, I. I just heard everything you said. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow's my Friday. Yeah. All right. So I'm not gonna take it easy as far right, as the right. adult concoctions. Is there any like Prilosec or anything like that? You know. Right. So it's a good point. So proton pump inhibitors and o other over-the-counter medicines can help for short periods of time. So certainly, if you know you're gonna get that extra spicy hot wing, nothing wrong with taking that medicine earlier in the day, so you're covered. Okay. Now the biggest issue with these medicines, and I'm glad you brought that up, is that these medications we used to think were safe. And there are millions of people out there taking these medications on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. We now know that there's some potential long-term side effects. You can have hip fractures, kidney problems, heart disease, if you're on them for many years. So you don't want to rely too heavily right. on Right. So lifestyle changes. Look, we're all going to have fun on Super Bowl Sunday. But right. if you're somebody who has heartburn or reflux two, three times a week, you're dependent on medications, you should speak to your gastroenterologist. And the reason is there's actually new procedures that can help you come off those medications. Non-surgical outpatient procedures. One in particular is called Strata Therapy. Okay. This is an outpatient procedure that I do. It takes 40 minutes and many patients will actually be able to stop their medications which they've been on for years. They can actually control symptoms as well. What are we seeing in the video here? Yeah, so this is the lower esophageal sphincter. This is the valve that separates the esophagus from the stomach. And this okay. valve is the real problem in reflux. It gets weaker. And so this procedure, which we do, it takes 40 minutes, people go home the same day, actually stimulates that muscle. Oh. And over the course of six months, that muscle will become stronger. It's like going to the gym and working out. That muscle gets worked out and actually becomes stronger. People can come off their medications and can actually relieve heartburn symptoms as well. Hmm. That's good stuff. My man knows what he's talking about right He now. does. Yep. All right, who are you cheering for for tomorrow? <laughs> well, I'm an Eagles fan. Hopefully they'll be there soon. You got to go with the Falcons, though. So. I love you! But See? before he gets out of here, yeah. I have to ask you this. Yes. All right, so tomorrow on this Mike and Alex extravaganza, yeah, I'm eating party. some Inferno-style wings. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Enjoy. Milk, beer, uh, Pepto, Water. what should I wash it down with? Does anything matter? Nothing matters. You know what? If it's once a year, a couple times a year, enjoy it. Really, the concern Ooh. is if it happens multiple times. So enjoy the burn. But don't make a habit of oh, it. Oh, that's right. going to hurt. Don't make a habit of it. I'm only going to eat one. Yeah, I'm not going to lie.